What's going on everybody? This is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel and thank you all for watching. I'm in Flagstaff, Arizona right now. We're just having a little family getaway and I found a little shooting spot that I'm pretty sure is okay to shoot. I hope so. <laughs> Anyways, Sunday was my birthday and my parents got me this. Something I've needed very much. This is the Caldwell Ballistic Precision Chronograph. Finally, I have a way to actually measure the velocity of the ammo that I'm shooting. I've got a couple different ideas for videos I'm going to film today just with this thing, but this little quick video, this little quick video is just going to demonstrate how to set this thing up. And we're going to fire a couple rounds through it. I have a couple reloads that I've made. I'm hoping are subsonic. I guess we'll find out if they are, right? I haven't even shot them yet to test them. So let's test it out. All right, we have two little paddles, and you have a cord for a phone. However, I have the iPhone, and my cord doesn't, you know, I don't have an auxiliary port, so I do have another phone as well. Okay, here it is. We've already, I've already opened this and put batteries in it. I just want to show you guys what it looks like. Um, you can set it to FPS or MPS. Um, it takes a 9-volt battery, and there's a spot for an extra 9-volt battery if you need it. And it comes with a little carry bag. There's a book of instructions. So these guys just go inside the holes right here. Like that. One here. And then you have these little paddles right here. They just clip on the side. There we have it. We're ready to rock. All right, so the chronograph is set up right over there. What I'm gonna be shooting first are six rounds of the Winchester White Box factory ammunition. It's just 115 grain full metal jacket. I'll be shooting it out of the CZ P10C with the rugged obsidian 45 suppressor on it. So, without further ado, let me turn it on and let's get some numbers recorded. All right, so when you turn it on, you just turn it to FPS and there's a little countdown timer. It goes four, three, two, one, and then this little logo tells you to shoot through it. So, let's do it. Ah, everything's so loud out here. 1,221. 1,255. 1,241. 1,231. 1,255, 1,208. That's pretty consistent. Let's shoot some of my reloads that I think is gonna be, I think they're gonna be subsonic, I, I don't know for sure. All right, so right here, I have my reload. I'm using Barry's 124 grain flat points. So let's see if they're subsonic. 1,043, 1,040, 1,036, 1,041. Let's try it again. Again, 124 grain flat point reloads. These things are so much quieter. They're just supersonic. They're just over a thousand feet per second. But I mean, they're close and they're a hell of a lot quieter than the Winchester white box. And they feel really good to shoot too. 982, that was subsonic. 1,077, 1,097. 1,045, and last one, 1,022, that's it. So those are pretty good, this thing is awesome. To be able to finally have some something I can use for accurate load data, um, this tells me I need to do just a tiny bit less powder inside my reloads, and that'll put me under the 1,000 feet per second range. That's pretty cool, guys. So, well, there you have it. There's the Caldwell uh, chronograph. 
It's really easy to use. You put a 9 volt battery in the thing, flip it to on, and that's about it. <laughs> so, thank you all for watching. This was a quick video, but I had to get out here and do some shooting. We're in just the most beautiful place in the world right now. So, Northern Arizona. That's right, we are in Arizona still. Thank you all for watching. You've been watching the Mr. Big Kid channel, and my name is Steve. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon, so you guys know when I'm making new content. Leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you all so much and have a beautiful, blessed day.